Hi, my name is Mari, and I work for the Young Scientist Program at USC. Today we are going to be talking about bodies of water. Did you know about 71% of the Earth's surface is covered by water? Because there is all this water, there's a specific section of science that studies the water called hydrology. Over 96% of the water on Earth is in the oceans, which means that only about 3% of Earth's water is fresh water. And of that, only about 1% is water that we have access for drinking. So where can we find all this water? The first source is in oceans. An ocean is a large body of salt water. The Pacific Ocean is the largest ocean in the world. The other oceans are the Atlantic, Indian, and Arctic Oceans. All of the oceans have salt water, which means that we cannot use that water for drinking. The next source of water is rivers. A river is a large natural stream of water that flows into another body of water. The Nile, Amazon, Yangtze, and Mississippi rivers are the longest rivers in the world. Each of them is about 4,000 miles long. Next, we have lakes. And a lake is a large body of water that is surrounded by lands. One cool thing about lakes is that they can appear and disappear from drought or heavy rainfall over time. The next one we have is ponds, and a pond is a small body of still water. Ponds can be similar to lakes, but are smaller and typically don't have streams running into or out of them. Ponds can support many types of plants and animals. Next we have brooks, which is a small stream. Brooks are almost like rivers, but again, they're a bit smaller. They're usually really shallow and narrow and empty out into lakes or oceans or other larger rivers. The point where a brook empties into a lake is called the mouth or the delta. So the last four body of, bodies of water that I told you about make up only about 30% of the world's fresh water. So where's the rest of the fresh water, right? It's actually locked up in glaciers, which are large sheets of ice that can extend for miles. About 70% of the world's fresh water is in glaciers. So now that we've learned about all these different bodies of waters, it's time for our activity. Today we will be making a booklet that describes all the different bodies of water. For this activity, you will need markers and three pieces of paper. First, you're going to take your three pieces of paper and line them up so they are about one inch apart from each other. Then you'll flip them over and fold them down so you have six one inch flaps. Once you have those flaps, you're going to take a stapler and staple them at the top. Now that you have your booklet with six flaps, what you're going to do is write each type of body of water on one of the flaps. Write the name of the body of water where you can see it, and then above it write the description and draw a picture. You repeat this for all of the different types of bodies of water. You can go back in the video and pause the video at the different points to find the different definitions for the bodies of water. The finished product should look something like this. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you learned a little bit about the different bodies of water on Earth today.